So just down at our holiday home project in Cornwall today with Josh from JAE. Josh will be doing loads of extras in the gym, which I'm going to show you shortly. But we're actually going to go in, do an update on the service for the client. Now, this was supposed to be a holiday home. The client actually spends about 50% of his time here, but let's go in up. Shout out Hudson Lighting. So we're just down here in Cornwall doing one of our clients' holiday homes. We've just got a new 10-inch T4. Uh, we've got the light switch here, I'm gonna explain that in a sec, but if you just Craig just pans on here a little bit, we've got this absolutely amazing gym. So we've got all the Watson squat rack, Watson weights, Peloton, uh, HG. We've then got a zone of audio, 2.1. That is actually a sub in the back corner. All our lunar plaster and down lights, a future automation TV lift, and then a blind box recess there in a blind. Now, Josh from JAE Electrical that we've done this job with, absolutely diamond. Again, he brought this job to this stage of us because we've just done the full house together, he's had the experience. But yeah, touch screens on, and we've actually got conventional light in here. So that light switch is actually switching on those lights over there. Now, what we're actually gonna do, I've mentioned it a few times, but Control 4 have these little products, yeah? So this is actually a Control 4 keypad However, this is a mains flavor one. So it's mains flavor, right? So on here, we have live and neutral switch wire one and switch wire two. So watch this. Behind here, because Josh has so kindly prepped this with a 47 mil box, I can see here, we've got two neutrals. There's our feed. We've got a switch wire, and then we have another switch wire coiled up in the back, just there, which is gonna be for another four spots, which is just installing today. So let's see here. A couple more of the all lunar lights. These are just going on the front. So we've got those. But for now, this keypad. So looking at this, live and neutral, which has two neutral terminals. Set the live out. Set this neutral out. I'm just going to leave the other switch wire in the back for now. So I'll just install switch wire number one. So Josh has finished doing his other one. Let's call that back up for now until he's ready, pre-wired. So, coming around here. Disconnect next switch wire one. I'll put switch wire one into switch wire one terminal. Next is my neutrals. So I'm actually gonna put two of those into the same terminal there. To leave one for his next load. So yeah, because this box has a 47 mil bat box on it, this can just go into place. Tighten that up there. Last but not least, put that feed in. So then if I just dress all that back into the box, Bring that forward. I just need to snap the top and bottom lugs off. What I'm actually gonna do, are these buttons, like I say, they set up with a one dot, one, two, and three. I'm actually gonna give them as much functionality as possible in here, just via the keypad, even though there's a touch screen there. So I'm gonna add these on. Cause yeah, touch screens are good for, I mean, we'll have favorites and stuff saved on here, um, but these are just for like quick actions. Pop those on there. Not put the very bottom button on yet. Get those now. Up and down. So because there's a blind, because there's music, control both of those. So that's going to sit in there. They actually go in last. What I'm probably going to do in here is just got the peloton. I'll probably put a peloton button on. And that first plate will go on there. Like so, and that's gonna go back in there, but we just need, obviously, the back box on. What I'm actually gonna do on here as well, so we've got the keypad on here, and I've actually got the touch screen on here ready to go. Now, obviously, Control 4, you listen to this program off a laptop a million times. This is an app called Composer Express. So on this, even down to, where is it? Outdoor lighting, we've not even got the room on, so I'm gonna add, I'm gonna add a location, add a room on the ground floor. Let's save getting my laptop out, even though it's just in my bag just down there. We're gonna do it this way. So we're adding the gym, so that's added into the project now. I'm just gonna tell this touchscreen it is in Europe. I'm gonna add a device, Discover SDDP, which is Control Force Simple Device Discovery Protocol. It knows this touchscreen's on the system because it's got a network already. So I'm gonna click Add, add the touchscreen. It's gonna ask me which room I wanna put it in. 
I'm gonna put this into the ground floor gym. I've just added that, add device. And then over the next couple of seconds, the touchscreen is gonna be get discovered by the control for system. It's gonna get adopted and it's gonna push all the settings to that touchscreen. Device has been added. Boom. So that touch screen is now restarting because it's getting adopted by the system and getting brought into the control force system. But while we're waiting for that, we have a keypad here. So let's come back. Devices coming on the list. What am I adding? I'm adding lighting. Light, uh, keypad. All manufacturers. Control for. Search, control for keypad. That was a Julo dimmer, SADP240. So I'm gonna add one of those. In the ground floor gym, add device. Down into the gym now. We're in the gym, there's our keypad. Not ID, no mesh. If I go one, two, three, four. Four presses on that keypad. Keypad's gonna start flashing to ID. That's now adopted, so that switch is now integrated into the control floor system. We're actually gonna go one bit further while we're doing this. So if I come back on here, come on device. Lighting V2, square lighting. Dimmable light, so that's gonna be called main spots. Let's add into the gym. We've got a second load, which is going to be load two, which is going to be called window spots. Device has been added. Square light in. Another dimmable light. Beautiful. Those devices are now added. We'll come back. Come back into our project. Main spots, window spots. Come into our dual load dimmer. Connections. Load one. Dimmable light. Main spots gym. Clear pads just flashed because it's then been added onto it. And then we're going to come back. We're going to go to load two. We're going to add in window spots. We've got load two connected. Now, if I come back on this control four system, and then I'm going to go tools, refresh the navigators, which is going to cause this touch screen to do an update. There we go. Got all the latest settings. We can sleep in for all the. Oh, we got a light on here now. Is this by magic? Guess what? Kirkin, guess what? You guess what? Main spots. Integrated. seconds you should notice our first change then every five seconds from there to 35 seconds so I should have a change in about three seconds but beep it's beep to you there's your change 20 seconds about another one now yeah then another one about now keep on to it though another one about now it's almost it's almost as if that's pair of instruct beep, 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 beep. final big reset and release factory reset mate it's a great kitchen there, Rich. Oh, it's nice, it's nice. Don't have a look at my house. It's, it's actually really nice. I'll show you around. You should come here one time. Um, we've got some great guest rooms. Yeah, how well, about that? We've got a great coffee machine. <laughs> Ready for this one. This is really good in pressure, this one. Because the cleaner came up to me and said, what's the Wi-Fi password? You're going to think she needed yeah. to call you? Yeah, watch this. Watch this. So on your home screen here in the kitchen, we've got the wine cellar button and stuff. Uh, we can press here, guest Wi-Fi. So if you had friends over and they're like, oh, what's your Wi-Fi? Yeah, just press the guest Wi-Fi button there. And it pops a QR code up. And then the QR code can just be, just be scanned with your phone, pops up a little screen there. You click that and uh, people are on the guest network. And then, yeah, resets. If Skybox plays up, just press Sky, Video, Audio, Network, Control 4, or everything. Um, and I'll reset it without you going out into the store. You don't do the little wheel on the front of the screen. So that's all there. House settings, all on. Home, so you come in here. Welcome, evening, all on cleaning mode. Um, all off and all off away mode. So all on cleaning mode puts every single light in the house to 100% and it puts our radio on from Over on the doors, we've got a doors button. And again, as I'm going through this, you can have a look through it on your mobile phone, obviously, because it all syncs. Um, the front doors will open as doors. I'll come and show you those separately, but I've just done a quick action. So open the front door for one minute. Open the front yeah. door, but hold it open on the lock. You know, so okay. people, you knew people were gonna be in and out. Yeah. I know you use the side door a lot, but open front door a lot. Uh, and same with the beach door, open the beach door one minute, hold the beach door open and beach door lock. Now, what I've actually done, should you open it up and forget about it, I've put a midnight every night to lock them. Okay, so if you've that. opened them for a party during the day or you've had people over, you forgot to lock the, uh, the beach door, at midnight every night it'll just lock itself anyway. Perfect. 
Thank you. So that is that. Rest is, oh, the intercom. Now, don't forget, and what actually might be quite a useful one, don't forget that the intercom can be used as an intercom between the things. Yeah. Yeah. Well, now you've got one in the gym. I discovered that. Did you? Well, now you've got it in the gym, you might actually use it a lot more. So if somebody was in the gym doing a workout, you can just press gym on here and ring through to the gym if they're not taking the phone in. Yeah. <laughs> you can actually ring back off the touch screen to a mobile phone. If your phone was on silent upstairs somewhere and someone's in the house, you could, if you're out and about, you could ring back to the touch screens. Brilliant. Okay. Brilliant. That is awesome. Perfect. Well, that'll do. Because I'm studying, I've just typed the code in. Yeah. That'll then send the push notification to you, saying that the family code has been entered. Yeah. Yeah. And you'll get a notification of my ugly mug stood at the door, because it should yeah. send a screenshot of it. Just right come to the screen here, and I literally just go watch. What do I want to watch? Sky. Because progress is a matter of character. So he does a ding dong, it rings through to the screen like that. You don't even have to, you, you click to answer, you can see them. You know, so if you didn't want to answer, you don't have to. Yeah. I can press the green to speak to them. Yeah, mate, if you just leave the delivery in the beach store, please, just on the drive. When I press beach store and hang up, it'll pop the, uh, it'll pop that driveway camera up onto the screen. So you, okay, so, so then you could, even if it seemed like a dodgy delivery, that guy didn't want to open the door to him, it then pop this up when you hang up the call. So you can okay. literally see him walking around and put it in the stock. Okay, cool. That's perfect. Top man, all the best, mate. Cheers, mate. Cheers, you take care. Thanks for all. Take care. Cheers, mate.